Hello everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to do a damage comparison between the Amos Bow and the Skyward Harp. We already know the Amos Bow is hands down her best weapon, but the main purpose of this video is to compare the pros and cons of each and decide what to do if you have the Skyward Harp. But before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe as I'll be posting a lot of Ganyu related and general Genshin related guides and content. Also, I'm streaming on Twitch almost every day, so come check me out at twitch.tv slash French Tutor underscore. All right, let's get started. So why is Amos Bow Ganyu's best bow? Its passive increases the damage of normal and charge attacks. So this actually increases Ganyu's initial level two charge shot and the bloom AOE damage that comes after it. Also, the longer an arrow is in flight, so essentially the further away you are from the enemy, the more damage it does, which applies to both the level two charge shot and the bloom damage again. And I say that's pretty amazing. Okay, so I'll be doing a few tests with both bows. I'm just going to use a two-piece cryo set to keep things more simple. And just keep in mind that this bow has 20% more crit damage and also about 20% more crit rate. But everything else will be the same. So let's get started. Okay, so here are some side-by-side -side damage comparisons. I'll put the numbers in an Excel sheet after this. And here I'm just fighting some slimes in a domain. Here's a Ruin Guard in a Floor on the Abyss. And finally the last one, this is just a damage comparison in the Veridescent Domain. Okay, so let's look at the numbers real quick. You can see I divided everything into non-crit hits and crit hits. And we're going to compare the Skyward Harp damage from here. And for the Amos Bow, there's going to be two types of damage here because it depends on how far you are away. And I kept the distance more realistic in, in, actual, in actual combat because if you're doing freeze or melt comp, you want to still relatively be close to the enemy. So I did about, you know, when you use Ganyu's E around that distance when you dash back and also a little farther away. So then there will be two types of damage here. And I apologize if there are some values missing. It was very hard to just get a crit on like the certain distances. And also maybe it's just not realistic to get that damage up close to a certain enemy. So there are a few values missing. So just bear with me. Also keep in mind of Skyward Harp's passive, it gives a 60% chance to inflict a small AoE attack and it deals 125% physical attack damage. And I added this in just to, you know, like more accurate damage comparison. So yeah, here it is. And what you can see from these tests, the most significant damage difference is actually in the Frostflake Bloom damage, especially when they crit, as you can see. Um, there is a fairly big gap here, I would say, and especially as you scale up and level up, it's going to be even more of a difference when you compare these two weapons. So yes, the Amos Bow definitely outclasses the Skyward Harp, but in a sense, around this level, it's, it may not look too much, but still, it this bow is just crazy for Ganyu. Also to note, the Skyward Harp's Elemental skill and elemental burst will do more damage because of the extra crit damage you get from its passive. So should you pull for the Amos Bow? Well, first, please consider that the Skyward Harp is definitely Ganyu's second best bow at Refinement 1, and it has less limitations such as distance and hitting weak spots compared to the other bows such as the Prototype Crescent. Not to mention at Refinement 1, it does the most damage for Ganyu's elemental skill and burst. Also, the extra crit rate and crit damage gives you the flexibility to switch between other artifacts such as the Wanderer's Troop or Blizzard's Strayer if you need to. So now that you saw some damage comparisons, here are my thoughts on the weapon banner. In my opinion, if you're not a whale and a relatively free-to-play player, I advise you not to pull on the weapon banner in general. The main reason is the nature of the weapon banner. 
See, you're not guaranteed the Amos bow here. If you end up pulling the Skyward Pride, the next 5 star pity, you can still get the Skyward Pride and not the Amos bow. I think it would be much safer to try to pull for Constellation 1, if anything, on the event banner, in that sense. And who knows, maybe one day you'll get the Amos bow from the standard banner. But for Ganyu, who knows when she's coming back. And also, you'll get closer to your pity, to the next rated up character. And yeah, it's just the safer option in my opinion. So to the Amos bow users, congrats. You guys have her best weapon. And for the Skyward Harp users, I hope this video put you at ease and help you decide what to do. Thank you so much for watching today. Take care now. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be making more guides, especially Ganyu guides, so you can keep an eye out for that. And I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash frenchtutor underscore. I stream there almost every day, so I would appreciate it if you stopped by. Alright, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.